afternoon, family and friends, and welcome to the marriage ceremony of Matthew and Sophie. I'm honoured to be the big sister of this beautiful bride that stands before us today and to have the pleasure of officiating her wedding ceremony to Matt at this beautiful location here at Vilhelmina in Assisi. I am told that I am more than a big sister, but in truth it's me who has to give thanks to Sophie for giving me and Nick the pleasure in watching her grow and help raise her by being so easy to raise, watch grow and adore. We love and treasure her more than words can say. To Sophie's other siblings, Liz, Luke, Philip, Vicky and Chloe, you've all played a part in raising Sophie and she is thankful for your continued guidance. This is a moment to reflect on Sophie's mom, our mom, our queen, whose memory we hold so dear. Whilst the memory of her passing is sad, today is a joyous affair and I know that Mum's loving presence is here with Sophie and her spirit is with us today and always. Sophie wants to give thanks to Nick who gives her away today. He has stood beside her, supported her and watched her grow and she couldn't think of anyone more deserving to have this honour today. Buongiorno, benvenuti al Vilamina per il matrimonio di Sofia e Matteo. I'd like to say how super proud I am and what an honour it is to be asked to take the role of the father of the bride duties and give Sophie away. She continues to make me proud every day as she grows into an amazing young lady. I know Sophie's mum would be very proud of the young lady that she has become today. <laughs> Woo. I remember Sophie telling me about Matt when she was at school um, and me being very protective of her. I would joke and tell her that I'd have to meet Matt first and have lots of questions for him. Matt's a great guy and we have bonded over the years with plenty of banter and I couldn't wish for anyone better for our Sophie to spend the rest of her life with. I just want to say I love you both very much and wish you every success in the future. Your wedding day will come and go, but may your love forever grow. Best wishes to this wonderful journey as you build your lives together. Divertitevi, mangiate e bevate e volanta. Grazie a tutti. I have always felt that for as long as I've been with you that I'm the luckiest man to walk this earth. Our journey has been long, but a journey that I have cherished. Without you beside me, I would not have the strength to be the man that I am today. For when I am with you, my fears and anxiety disappear. I didn't believe in the concept of one true love. But here we are, nine years later, proving to me once again that you were right. From this moment, I vow to love and cherish you, to protect you and to be vulnerable with you. You will not only be my wife, you will always be my best friend. Who would have thought all those years ago when you wrote so romantically carried me over a puddle of sick at a high school house party that we'd end up here today? I'm not sure if it was the wardrobe full of check shirts, the burnt noodles you served me on our first date, or even when you pushed me through that really large bush that made me realise you are the one. All I know is that I've never loved a smile as much as I love yours. I have never felt as safe as I do when I am with you and I have never felt love like I have when we're together. I've come to the conclusion that you're like a well-packed suitcase. <laughs> I know that wherever I may end up, I will always have everything I will ever need in you. I vow to be there for you in difficult times and celebrate with you in the happy times. I promise to be your best friend always and that I will love you forever. Uh, on behalf of my wife and I, I'd like to thank everyone for being here today. It is wonderful to be in the presence of so many people that are uh, important in our lives. It honestly would not have been the same without all of you here. 
it would have been cheaper, but that's beside the point. Um, Thanks to Becky and Nick. Um, Sophie sees both of you as a pair of figures, and I appreciate the relationship that you all have. You've raised Sophie into the woman she is today, and for that, I thank you. Uh, thank you to my uh, best man. We spoke about this day all those years ago when we were at Withy Park. Uh, I asked you that day if you'd be my best man, and uh, here you are seven years later. Uh, thank you for always being there for me, showing me love and support when I needed it most. Uh, to the bridesmaids, you all are beautiful. Thank you as always for being there for Sophie. She speaks highly of you all, and uh, she truly values your friendship. And uh, last but not least, a uh, toast to my beautiful wife, Sophie. She's a brilliant person who challenges me every day, pushing me to be a better person, giving the love and support I need to be able to flourish. So let's raise a glass to all you brilliant people here today. Cheers. Brilliant people. Thank you. Sophie, I'll give you this ring as a symbol of my love, with a pledge to love you today, tomorrow, always and forever. Matt, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love, with the pledge to love you today, tomorrow, always and forever. Before these witnesses, you have pledged to be joined in marriage. You have now sealed this pledge with your wedding rings. By the authority vested in me, by you both, I now pronounce you man and wife. Matt, you may kiss your bride. I'd like to start my speech by paying compliments to the better half of the couple, Sophie, you look amazing, and Matt, you look alright. <laughs> It's been an honour to be your best man, Matt. I think I can speak for everyone here when I say I wish you the very best. You are fantastic people who are going to have an absolutely amazing life together.